Holy Thursday is for me um, all about a big feast. You know, the first reading of Holy Thursday, it's the story of the Exodus. It's the story of God liberating the Israelites from 400 plus years of captivity as slaves in Egypt. But he does that within the context of a meal. We see that again in the Eucharist, right? Where Jesus was celebrating the Passover feast with his disciples. That he would take leave of this life on earth in the Passover feast is really significant. That's what we celebrate on the Holy Thursday. The Holy Thursday ritual of the foot washing is really meaningful to me. Um, I remember as a kid in grade school going to Holy Thursday prayer services and um, leaders from around the school washing our hands as part of that and then going to the service at night and sometimes getting to participate having uh, my feet washed by leaders in the parish and it can feel really awkward and I think that's okay. I imagine that the disciples who were served by Jesus also may have felt awkward about that but there's then that reminder that there's still that relationship there. And I think the way that we're approached in that type of ritual where it is solemn and there is this sense of respect there, I don't think all parts of our life have to be solemn, but I do think that acts of service need to be approached with a sense of respect for, for the other. Because there's this deep affirmation of their dignity, their value, and their worth that we're all created in God's image and likeness. Uh, and Holy Week affirms that, that this faith is invited or inviting everyone into it. Who is my neighbor? And his answer is, it's everyone. It's universal. Even if the person has a different creed than I, even if the person has a different life experience than I, it doesn't matter where they fall on any spectrum. All are loved deeply. All are invited. Um, and God, as Jesus, knowing what's coming, still is trying to be our friend, still is trying to sit down and have a meal with us, sit down and wash our feet, be with us, be together. Um, I think that to me is really, really cool. All of history, all of scripture, everything we know can be broken down into this idea of God reaching out and saying, I love you, let's be friends. Humans be human beings being like, nah, we're good and God showing up again and saying like, nope, I still love you, I wanna be friends, let's keep trying at this. Um, so I think Holy Thursday is a great example of that. It definitely was very uncomfortable. Um, it was something new, like I had never done it. I was up in front of a bunch of people. That moment there, like I really felt how closely, like how close God was to me because like even though I felt uncomfortable, uh, like trying something new, doing something new, um, like it was such a sacred and like holy experience like that symbolized what Jesus truly did that day. If we want to be who we say we are as men for others, the Holy Thursday movement is about humbling yourself and being a service to other people. And that can be labra, it could be pallbearers, it could be just being a good friend in a class, uh, it could be helping someone out, um, it could just be a random act of kindness. I mean. That is an inspirational moment in the liturgical cycle where you can understand that if we're going to be men for others, then we should model ourselves after the man for others who was Jesus.